So I am making a really quick, delicious aubergine dip. It is so simple. It's made with roasted aubergines and um, my mic was not working in this uh, early section. So I have to voice over so my <laughs> lips don't match what I'm saying. But I'm going to serve it with a really cook, a quick falafel recipe as well and serve it as part of a whole big meal. So let me show you. I am making, I've just rubbed some oil on the aubergine, just um, uh, kind of made some holes with a fork and then they go in a really hot 200C oven for around 40 minutes until the skin is all wrinkly and the insides are really nice and cooked. So I've got the skin of the aubergines and I have let them rest in us on a sieve so I've got all this water liquid left at the bottom of the sieve and I'm just going to chop it up just chop this up I'm just gonna grate a couple of garlic cloves on top of this um, aubergine so now to assemble it I have got here a couple of tablespoons of tahini just going to add the chopped up aubergine and garlic to this so now to this I'm going to add a good big pinch of salt A good tablespoon of uh, Greek yogurt just want a nice thick yogurt I'm gonna add lemon juice to this you know it's gonna taste really really nice and then just mix this up really nicely so this goes on the serving plate olive oil a little bit of sumac you can use chili powder chili flakes peppers whatever you like now the final thing is some lovely coriander leaves And uh, that's it. That is easy, simple uh, roast aubergine tahini yogurt dip. And I'm going to serve it with some uh, hummus. I'm going to serve it with some pita bread. And I'm now going to make really quick falafel. Um, but you can find the recipe for hummus and pita bread on my channel already. I've already shared them. They are super simple. I would highly recommend you give these a go. They are really, really nice. So here I have got uh, around two 250 grams of uh, chickpeas which I soaked overnight. I've got rid of the water and I'm just adding um, small red onion. I'm using half of it because I have a really big onion here and I'm just adding a handful of fresh coriander leaves, a couple of garlic cloves and I'm just going to blitz it. I don't make it super smooth. I keep it like... Um, uh, it has a little bit of a bite in it uh, so you might get a few whole chickpea pieces um, and that gives it a really nice texture when it's cooked. Uh, to this I'm going to add a teaspoon of cumin powder, a teaspoon of cardamom powder, a little pinch of uh, baking powder and some salt to taste. I would add around at least half a teaspoon of salt to this and then I have got two heaped tablespoons of uh, gram flour. Now this is just going to help bind 
uh, the falafel and uh, just give it a little bit of body to hold I've got some sunflower oil nice and hot in a uh, kadhai and once it's hot I'm going to just shape them roughly into uh, balls the falafel and then they don't cook uh, they don't take very long to cook um, they're easy and quick to cook just maybe a couple of minutes on each side and um, just keep uh, sh just make sure that you turn them uh, around and cook them on both sides and uh, that's it they are looking pretty amazing And here is the spread ready. These are delicious falafel, some pita bread. Uh, I have just got uh, some kind of a smashed cucumber lettuce uh, salad. Um, and this is the lentil uh, bulgur wheat recipe you can find on the channel. Some hummus, some beetroot chutney and uh, the smoked aubergine dip that I've just made. And I'm going to sit down and enjoy this with my friends who are here to share the meal with me. Um, and this all tastes amazing together. So I'm going to serve this aubergine, lovely aubergine dish with some warm pita bread and a lot of other things on the table. And I hope you will give this a go. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon with another new recipe. Bye for now.